Cheetahs live in grasslands, savannas and are notorious for being agile and cunning predators. A real threat to any animal, especially herbivores like impala. They are the cheetah's favorite prey. So how do cheetah hunts go? Let's follow along today. Cheetahs attack and eat impala. Although running very fast, but when facing predators, they, that are many times faster than them, will the impala escape death? A lone impala didn't know it was within the sights of skilled hunters. Cheetah mother teaches her children how to hunt and how to kill prey quickly. Sharp teeth pinned her neck, causing the impala to slowly suffocate in a short time. The impala was defeated, unable to escape death. It had to accept its fate of becoming a meal for cheetahs. As can be seen, fresh prey is always the first choice of cheetahs, so they often eat raw immediately after hunting prey. They use their sharp teeth to cut meat and enjoy a hearty meal to the fullest. It is known that the impala speed is 70 to 90 kilometers per hour, but compared to cheetahs, that doesn't count because cheetah owns an average speed of 120 kilometers per hour. So impala could not escape death is also obvious. Cheetah not only using speed, but also uses intelligence while hunting. The ability to judge the running of prey is one of the abilities found only in cheetahs that other grassland predators do not have. Whether it hunts alone or hunts in groups, Impala is also difficult to escape a painful death. When it is noticed that the prey was no longer breathing, the cheetah began to cut the meat and eat it raw. Because, if not eaten right away, Bandits like hyenas or leopards often appear and steal its prey. Cheetah was enjoying the meal to the fullest today. It is a time when the vegetation is lush. The number of prey is abundant, so the cheetah hunts more easily. When the dry season falls, the herbivores start migrating and will the cheetah easily hunt the impala? The inclement weather makes hunting for cheetahs more difficult. Seeing the impalas feeding, the cheetah did not miss the opportunity taking advantage of the thorns to hide. It suddenly accelerated and chased its prey. Perhaps nature could not bear to see the cheetah go hungry. One ill-fated impala was left behind and immediately the cheetah pounced and grabbed its prey by the neck.
Hunting is the daily work of cheetahs in order to survive. They are not allowed to starve. Without waiting, the cheetah devours its prey instantly. When biting, the cheetah usually chooses the softest part of the meat to eat first, usually the belly. So the speed chases between cheetah and impala are always thrilling and are races of life and death in which both sides have their own advantages. In the large fields, the mother cheetah is responsible for raising and teaching the cheetah cub how to hunt so that they can survive in this fierce world. As adults, cheetahs will separate from their mothers, hunt on their own, and it seems that the hunter blood has become an instinct that makes them easily hunt for prey. Impala possessed long pointed horns, but it seems useless against this nimble hunter. The predator grabbed its neck making it unable to struggle and was eventually knocked down. In order to increase the rate of hunting, many cheetahs will gather together from 3 to 5 to hunt. Thus, they will easily surround and defeat their prey. As you can see, cheetah hunts are very bloody and we feel sorry for those that are eaten. But if it doesn't hunt, what happens to the cheetah? Can they exist? It's all about survival. To survive, animals have to face the boundaries between life and death the old and the weak. The small, the unlucky are all the causes that cause them to be eliminated from the natural world. Our video comes to an end. How do you like this video? Please comment down below. Thank you all for watching this video. Remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel to support us. Goodbye and see you in the next videos.